Hi guys, welcome to my third video in DDC converters series. <clears throat> uh, when I'm covering uh, the small digital to digital converters that you can buy to use with your audio equipment. This is the first uh, video, uh, sorry, third video and the third device that I got over years. Uh, this one is uh, SMSL P1, PO100 Pro. And this device type is very important because SMSL is producing, as far as I remember, three different devices that are using the same casing, the small, same small form factor. And they are using uh, PO100 Monica, but with different ending to the number and to the type. One of them is digital to analog converter based on the uh, AK4493, I think. And I don't remember what the third one is, but I wanted to talk with you about this one, PO100 Pro. What does it do? It's a digital to digital converter, which lets you convert your USB data coming from your PC or Android or iPhone device, <clears throat> or PlayStation 5 device, this is important thing, uh, to IIS I2S output to coaxial output or to optical output. So it just converts incoming audio signal from one digital format to another digital format. The important thing is that this one includes internally Exmos XU316 uh, IC. And this is a flagship device from Exmos offering right now. Uh, so it's a very good uh, IC, um, giving uh, very good sound quality in all uh, digital to analog converters, serious digital to analog converters <coughs> that I've heard it in. So it's a very nice thing to have it in a, such a small form. Okay, what would be the use case scenarios? The first one is uh, you want to connect your USB uh, device like your phone, like your HTPC, like your PC or your PlayStation 5 to your uh, audio equipment, to your audio video receiver or to your digital to analog converter and they happen not to have a USB input on the optical or coaxial inputs. Uh, so you'll be connecting your PC or your PS5 and connecting your uh, audio equipment here. Another use case scenario would be <coughs> to use it instead of using uh, internal built-in USB input board in your digital to analog converter or alpha wire simply because they are older and lower quality. Because as I said, this is a really good quality device uh, and uh, I got it because I wanted to improve the sound of my Cambridge Audio 851D digital to analog converter. 851D uh, already has USB input, uh, but it's uh, it works fine. Yes, it works fine, but uh, it's been uh, built using um, top of the line uh, USB uh, chip. Uh, eight years ago or something like that. Uh, so it's getting quite long in a tooth and current offerings uh, are better and they sound better. Uh, it may sound strange because we're converting digital to digital, but the jitter and a couple of other things that are happening inside are really important. And this is uh, something you can actually hear when you're switching the input from the built-in uh, USB input on uh, Cambridge Audio 851D uh, to this one and connecting uh, your DAC with coaxial optical, you really hear improvement. And what kind of improvement are we talking about here? Uh, the transparency, airiness and crispness uh, of the sound. The frequency response stays the same. It's not like it will be more bassy on the more treble reach or something magical will happen with meats. Uh, but uh, using uh, that type of uh, converter with old type of DAC old, or older type of alpha wire will give you crispier, more detailed 
and more airy sound. Uh, it won't be a big change, it won't be something revolutionary, uh, but for the price it's uh, really worth it. And by the way, the, the current price is about $80, something like that, including shipping. You can get this from Ali uh, or eBay, or uh, you can get this on Amazon. Amazon, uh, more often than not, uh, will have some kind of uh, sale on these, <clears throat> so look for the sale. And what's very interesting is that this has uh, I2S output. I2S output is using uh, HDMI cables uh, to connect to uh, digital to analog converter. This is not to connect your uh, TV or any kind of uh, video enabled equipment here. It's only for the sound and it's uh, the sound uh, that's being transferred in different uh, protocol and using different pinout than uh, standard HDMI. Uh, plugs. So only the cable is the same, everything else is different, do not try to connect your TV here. Uh, I found it works very well uh, with some of the uh, really good digital to analog converters that do have uh, I2S input, uh, but internally they are using all the uh, XMOS incarnation. Like for example, to be specific, uh, Gastart X20 Pro, uh, which is based on uh, two, uh, da on double twin, you may say, uh, Sabre 9028 Pro uh, chips, and still sounds great in 2000, uh, still sounds great in 2024, but uh, it's using uh, XMOS uh, 208, I think. Uh, older device than this one. Uh, I was able to get better sound using this box than internal USB input. Of course, in line we have uh, devices that uh, cost uh, even more and are even better, uh, specifically uh, SyncSev devices, SyncSev SU1, SyncSev SU2, and SyncSev SU6. Uh, I have SU1 and SU6 back home, back home, and I think I'll cover them sometime in the future. Uh, but for now, I'd like to recommend this one because of a couple of reasons. The first one, it's very cheap. Uh, the second one, it really improves the sound. Uh, and the third one, uh, it allows your device that doesn't necessarily have a USB input to work with your PC or PS. Uh, five. Uh, on the back of the device, uh, we have uh, settings for uh, mode of uh, I2S because I2S is not really well standardized, and there are different options uh, for having left and right channels on the pinout. And you can, by switching this, you can switch left and right uh, channel. And uh, here you have two UAC modes for your PS5. And the first mod uh, would use uh, volume control from PS5. The second one would ignore the volume control, outputting the sound uh, always with uh, the highest volume, letting your FRL or DAC uh, to take control of the volume. Or your amplifier, or whatever. Uh, the device is made of metal, except for the, for the front plate, which is made from plastic. Uh, sorry, my bad. Not plastic, but glass. And it is glass, it's not uh, some kind of polycarbonate. It is glass because it doesn't scratch very easily. But it's a real fingerprint, ma fingerprint magnet. As you can see, I removed some uh, dust particle about uh, 10 seconds ago. And you can already see the smudge here. All in all, Looks well, sounds very good, works well, and it's not very expensive, so it gets my recommendation. And uh, I'll be keeping this one because it comes useful now and then. Okay, have a good day, guys.